Hey guys, welcome to Gaming Back, bringing our video today for our Blueprint Weapon Series. And today we're we'll covering the Utility Tool Blueprint for the SKS that you unlock at Tier 100 of the Battle Pass. So we'll go ahead, go through, check out the attachments for this weapon. I'll show you it compared to a regular SKS with the same attachments. We'll jump in game, look at the recoil, as well as see how it handles in game against bots. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here we have our final design for the Utility Tool SKS variant unlocked at tier 100 of the Battle Pass. So let's go ahead and back out and you'll see here again, this is unlocked at the very last tier 100 where you get the Operator skin for Alex for the Indomitable. You get the Utility Tool to recover here today as well as a skin for the helicopter called the Goblin as well as your Season 3 emblem for completing all the tiers in the Battle Pass. So again, we're going to be covering the Utility Tool blueprint today. So let's go ahead and back out and we'll go to our custom game where we can compare this to our base SKS as well. But first we'll go ahead and jump in and look at the blueprint itself. So you can see here, if I were to go ahead and strip this down, this is what the base blueprint itself looks like. Looks exactly the same as the regular base SKS, just with the, the gold camouflage on the, or the tint on some of the portions of the weapon here. We have the trigger, the magazine ejection, as well as the iron sights as well. So now we'll go ahead and build it. So we're going to want the FTAC landmark for the barrel. Now this is going to assist with the damage at range as well as the bullet velocity. The con here being the ADS speed. So we'll go ahead and attach that. And you can see how that cosmetically changes our weapon giving it that gold camouflage to the barrel itself. Now the laser, we're going to want that attack laser. So we'll go ahead and select that. And then again, how does that compare to the utility tool versus the base attack laser? As you can see there, there's at least no difference from what I can tell. So we'll go with the attack laser for the blueprint itself. Now the optic, we're going to want the... PSU scope here. This is that Russian seven times optic. So again, if we compare it to the base versus the utility tool, we're going to want the utility tool blueprint for this, for the optic. We have that again, a little bit of a darker camouflage as well as that gold tint to some of the portions of the scope as well. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now the stock, we're going to go with the FTAC Hunter Scout stock. This is going to turn this into something very similar to the Fab Defense SKS that we covered here on the channel when this first came out in the beginning of season three. So the pros here being the aiming stability, the cons being the aim walking movement speed. So you can see how that affects the rifle versus any of the other stocks, including the base stock that gives us that whole different chassis to the weapon for the Fab Defense SKS. So we'll go ahead and then again, you can see we can also select the base now that we have this Frankenstein blueprint conversion, or we can do the utility tool. So we'll go ahead and select the utility tool. And the final attachment for this blueprint is gonna be the 10 round ammunition as you can see how it compares to the 30 round ammunition for the 3762 by 39 as well as the 10 rounds so we go ahead and look here the default 10 round magazine versus the utility tool blueprint magazine for the utility tool is going to be just that gold tint again on the magazine so we'll go ahead and select that that is our final design for the utility tool blueprint for the sks turn it into the fab defense sks with this very interesting camouflage design on the weapon itself personally not a big fan of the way this camouflage looks but again i know a lot of you may like the gold type of weapon so this is a pretty interesting looking camo it reminds me of some of the camos that you see when i when you look at like battlefield 5 gameplay or something along those lines it's just a very strange looking camouflage with the dragon there on the left hand side of the weapon as well as the right hand side of the weapon and again that gold tint and the black mix to the weapon but how does this compare to the base sks Cosmetically, there's actually no change. So we'll go ahead and just take a look at the base SKS with the same exact attachments. You can see how this looks. Now, if I go ahead and back out here, this is actually, if we compare these two on the gun bench itself, we'll be able to see what they look like when I select between the two. So here we have the base SKS with the same attachments. And then we have the utility tool blueprint giving us again the same all the same attachments on this turn it into the fab defense sks you can see the only changes here there's no cosmetic changes the only changes being that this has the gold camouflage on there gold and black camouflage with the dragon emblems on the right and left hand side of the weapon those are really the only changes to this i prefer the base sks but again the utility tool blueprint does look pretty neat you went like that at tier 100 of the battle pass so this is the final design for the utility tool blueprint, turning it into the Fab Defense SKS chassis system. Let's go ahead now and back out. We'll jump in game, check out the recoil control, and see how it handles in game against bots. Okay, now that we're in game with our utility tool blueprint for the Fab Defense SKS, go ahead and see how this handles with the recoil. So if I just ADS here, again, you can see the faster ADS speed because we do have the TAC laser on this weapon. 
So I'm just going to let this rip all 10 rounds and we'll look at the recoil pattern on the weapon. So you can see there, basically straight vertical. Let's try and control it a little bit now and we'll hold our breath. And now that's firing very fast, so if we control the rate of fire a little bit better now. So now let's go and see what the pattern looks like here. So you can see, controlling the rate of fire, going a little bit slower, trying to keep my aim in a very tight cluster there. And then we have just letting it rip, going straight vertical for the most part, and then trying to control it a little bit, but still firing as fast as we can. So obviously you don't want to fire this as fast as possible unless you're very close to range of somebody like that. Other than that though, you can go at a distance and easily hit your target without having to worry about much bullet spread here. You can see, letting it rip, we're gonna get that bit of a muzzle climb, but right there, those five shots basically right on point. So that is the utility tool blueprint for the Fab Defense SKS. Let's go ahead now, jump a game, see how it handles in game against bots. All right, now that we're in game with our utility tool blueprint for the Fab Defense SKS. Again, this blueprint is unlocked at tier 100 of the Battle Pass once you hit that final tier. So there's actually double tier XP and weapon XP going on right now to make up for this previous weekend where things were accounted. So you can go ahead and check that out. If you don't have this unlocked yet in the Battle Pass, or you don't have the weapon unlocked yet in the Battle Stream, you can go ahead and grind out a little bit and you'll get double tier boost as well as double weapon XP if you're looking to level this thing up. So let's just see how this thing handles now. We'll try and utilize it. More of a DMR, kind of like we want to be doing it with a marksman rifle like this. But it is also... You can kind of also use this for a run -a gun weapon since it does have the tack laser on there. You're going to be able to ADS very fast with this one. But there you can see it's about a two shot kill. One, to, one shot dependent on the range and where you are with the weapon. Oh boy. Oh no. Got stuck on that part of the bridge. But unfortunately, uh, I'm not a big fan of the camouflage of this weapon for the blueprint. I was expecting something a little bit nicer to be unlocked at tier 100. But uh, this just gives me too many flashbacks to uh, like Black Ops 4 or some of those crazy dark matter, dark matter type camouflages that were in that game or, or Diamond or some of the crazy, very unrealistic camouflage in the game. So. I know when this game was first coming out, Infinity Ward said that they were going to stay very true to real life camouflages. Matching. So I can see, not really, I don't really see where this fits into that bunch of being a real life camouflage. It's a very, very, like I said, Black Ops 4 esque type of camouflage on the weapon itself. But you can see, oh boy, there we go. You can see the ADS speed on this because we have the tack laser is actually really good. And like I said, it's a one-shot kill to a two-shot kill depending on the range of the weapon and where you're hitting them. Basically, if we're hitting them in the upper torso ahead, it, that closer range is going to be a one-shot kill with this weapon. There we go. So you can see two-shot kill on both of those guys there. Need recon on my position. So let me know what you guys think of this blueprint if you're a fan of this or not. Like I said, personally, I would have liked to see something a little bit nicer unlocked at tier 100 with a more realistic type of camouflage, but I'm actually not even sure what the final weapon is unlocked for the blueprint when you hit max rank in the game for 155 this season. I haven't looked yet, and I haven't seen it, so I don't know if anyone's unlocked it. I'm sure people have reached max rank by now, but I want to say it's an AUG, but again, I'm not sure, so I'll have to see what that is, but I would have liked something more realistic with a nicer looking camouflage something to like we got with the soulful wanderer blueprint for the m4 with that ronin bundle i really like the way that bl blueprint had that nice woodland type camo on the weapon this is still pretty cool i know a lot of people might like this i'm personally just not the biggest fan of the way it looks i would prefer using the base sks with the same attachments and just a nicer looking camouflage on there or just even the plain camo i think it looks really nice with that fab defense chassis on the weapon itself but again, let me know what you think if you've unlocked it. And again, if you don't have it unlocked yet, this is a good opportunity to take advantage of it since it is double tier XP this week and to make or this week to make up for it, it not counting the previous week. Also, be sure I'll link down below the actual Fab Defense system that we did here for the 
weapon conversions at the beginning of season three when that came out. So that way you can check that one out on the channel. If you want more information about the weapon or just see how the base weapon itself handles with very similar attachments. I think the only change we had with that weapon was we put the longer barrel on there as well as a monolithic suppressor. Very similar to something that I would use for Warzone Battle Royale. And we got basically a one-shot kill out range with that, with utilizing a longer barrel as well as the monolithic suppressor on the weapon. Precision airstrike available. On your mark. There we go. Oh no. 725. Even the bots are using 725. It's crazy. Also, go ahead and check out the Frankensmithy weapon that weapon uh, conversion video that I did here yesterday on the channel. I went ahead and put that up last night. So we go through. About 10 to 12 different Frankensmithing options we had for, basically, I think I did it for all assault rifles. We covered things like the, a nice mix for the all-black AKS-74U, a newer version of the AK-12, AK-15. There you can see one-shot kill at that range to the head. That was a two-shot kill. I'm pretty sure this guy's got a shotgun. There we go. So like I was saying, we made an all-black version of the AKS-74U. We made a nice new, newer-looking version of the AK-15, AK-12 platform, or in real life, more of an AK, modernized AKM or an AK-74M. And we also have a new uh, blueprint for that coming soon, which I'll talk to you about in a second. But we did see in shop today there was a store refresh. We, we had a new bundle for Mace with his outfit, as well as a growl blueprint, as well as... Oh, the new SMG blueprint for that, uh, not the UMP, but the one that looks sim similar to that. I forgot what it's called off the top of my head. But we had two new blueprints for that, as well as some different uh, emblems and calling cards for that blueprint bundle, as well as a vehicle pack, which was also released in game. So I think those are pretty subpar. I didn't really like any of those, so I'm not going to go ahead and buy them. I may cover some of them here on the channel, just in case it's something you guys might want to look at. But I'm really looking forward to the security detail. I know a lot of you have been asking about that on Discord, as well as... There we go. As well as Twitter. Uh, there is a new blueprint bundle coming for... Actually, it's an Operator Milsim bundle for Bail called the secure, or Security Detail, I believe it's called. And like I said, it's a mil, more of a Milsim Operator skin for Bail, as well as a skin for the AK called the Warsaw, I believe it was called. And... Oh... Oh my gosh. So you'll notice right now, this weapon, especially with this scope, we don't really want to use it. Obviously, in closer quarters like that is where it's going to be the downside. It does have a decent muzzle climb at longer ranges if you're going to be firing it faster like that. So you'll see here, I'm kind of using it more similar to how I would use something like a FAMAS, which you don't really want to do with this particular setup. You can definitely kit it to be very similar, if not better than that. But you can see... That's a pretty decent range, but to, uh, you can see just right there's a prime example is I'm tap firing that weapon and the muzzle climb just at that range is a little bit too much. So we want to, like we showed in the recoil control, we want to kind of steady out our shots so we're not getting that muzzle climb on the weapon. But again, like I was saying, that security detail operator pack should be coming soon. We have a nice Milsim. Spetsnaz operator skin for Bale to make him in line with an actual FSB Spetsnaz soldier. So that'll be really nice. We also have the Warsaw blueprint for the AK-47 turning it into a much more modernized looking AK-15. And I'm sure with the right attachments we can make it into a nice AK-74. Oh, a lot of guys coming here. So we'll have to wait and see what that looks like. I'm, I was hoping it would be out today. But unfortunately, it was released today. So maybe, hopefully, tomorrow it'll be out. I typically try and check the store every day to see what blueprint bundles come out. So I'm hoping that'll be out tomorrow or sometime this week. And we won't have to wait another week to hopefully get that refresh in the shop. So let me know what you guys think of the utility tool blueprint for the SKS. Again, very nice for longer ranges, especially with that PSU Russian scope on the weapon. I'll go ahead and link the actual Fab Defense conversion we did for the SKS down below that we covered in the beginning of Season 3 for the conversion series. Give it a much more accurate representation of how you would want to actually use this weapon. Since this has a tack laser on the weapon, it's almost as if they want you to use it for more run-and-gun situations, especially with that 10-round magazine 
you have the faster ADS and the mobility overall. So typically not how you want to use this with a PSU scope on there, but again, trying to use it as the blueprint is built. And you can see it's a pretty decent build for medium to longer range engagements. I would typically recommend running a secondary with overkill if you're going to be doing something for CQC. But again, that's a utility tool blueprint. I'm Buffner Gaming. Until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.